YouTube, what is happening? We got another Kaiser knife video for you. This is the new Beglitter Titanium, uh, or they, they call it the, yeah, just Kaiser Beglitter. But KI4458T1 is the model number for this guy. And this is the upgraded version of the G10 version, which will do a comparison of those two knives in this video. So before I do that, though, let's get into the basic specs of this guy. You got an 8.17 inch overall length, a blade of 3.54 uh, S35VN. Your cutting edge is just shy of 3.4 because of this sharpening choil. Uh, 1.12, excuse me, blade thickness. Uh, S35, like I mentioned, Tanto style on this one. I believe they're also going to come out with a drop point. A hollow ground with a satin finish and a 4.625 inch handle and it is 0.46 inches thick so it's pretty thin very thin knife very good size and guess what weighs 2.8 ounces 2.89 it's almost 2.9 but still under three ounces for a titanium frame lock flipper that is this size pretty incredible um pretty incredible if you follow me on instagram you'll see some photos i took of this knife opened up and see why and you can honestly see some of these pockets right here if you look Let's see if i can get the camera to pick them up that's the hard thing i don't know if you can see but there's pocket there's lighting pockets on both sides all over the place i mean it's the most lightened knife i think i've ever seen um really honestly it's so well done so when so many lightning pockets okay so let's do some size comparison so let's do the obvious one which is the vanguard bag letter which is identical size makes sense right the booze blade smoke is another similar style of knife um, a good comparison one the 940 another similar style slim lightweight my kind of knife a little bit bigger or smaller than the 940 excuse me bigger than the 940 and then the uh, what i think is probably the best comparison knife minus the actual vg10 uh, g10 one is this Real Steel, Real Steel S5 Pro um, Metamorph. It's literally almost identical in size, in weight, in materials, everything. So we'll talk about that longer later in the video. Alrighty, so let's get into our talking points. Got some notes here. Fit and finish. Well, what do you expect? It's Kaiser. It's going to be good. It's not going to be bad in any way shape or form it's always good fit and finish on a kaiser this one is more i think i almost feel like they've stepped up their game a little bit with this model it's a little bit nicer than some of the other kaisers in the past that i've had so give them props to that there's some pretty good extensive milling on the handle which is awesome you don't see this on the we're just going to leave this g10 one here most of the video just as a comparison let's get that 940 out of frame so the difference is pretty good size i mean pretty good i mean obviously price and everything materials but you can see the handle is much more refined on the titanium um, more premium version i would love to see kaiser do this they typically do they usually have a vanguard and a premium they hadn't with this model this is an in-house design by azo azo um so on this on the other side you have quite a bit of milling here lightning pocket or the um, lock bar relief some more lightning here based on this milling that takes off some weight the pocket clip is even milled the pocket clip is excellent on this knife i really like it and we'll show how it carries but this is one of the best nice best pocket clips kaiser's ever done in my opinion nice open construction and you've got your du dual um barrel spacers and a liner hole so fit and finish is very good ergonomics very good very good um very very comfortable handle it's a pretty big knife but it doesn't feel big um if that makes any sense it, you know, I wear a medium glove, and if you had a larger hand, you have no problem with this guy. But I like this. This is a little bit bigger than I typically carry, but I like it carrying it because it's light and slim. Uh, I like light. I like bigger knives that are longer and slimmer like this. No, I shouldn't say longer. That's a weird word to use. Uh, slimmer and um, lightweight. is. You know, I'll carry a big knife typically if it has those kind of um, parameters. I don't know if parameters is the right word. I'm having a hard time with talking today. <laughs> So nice ergonomic handle, very good. Um, very, very comfortable in the hand. No jimping up here, pretty smooth. There is no jimping on the G10 version either though, so no surprise. So very nice, uh, no hot spots um, or anything like that. Aesthetics, I think it's a really good looking knife. 
it's quite a bit more attractive than the G10. Obviously, it's a huge price difference, $100 or so. But um, the G10 one's not a bad-looking knife by any means. I like the pivot collar. It's nice. They did the same thing on this knife. Um, you know, this one has the same liner hole attachment. Or not liner hole attachment, just liner hole. But you just get plain G10 on this guy. Um, and then you get the pocket clips, obviously a lot different too. Kind of just your standard stainless, you know, not deep carry. This is pretty deep carry, and it's nicely titanium. It's milled out as well. Um, so really nice aesthetics on the titanium version of this knife. Very nice. Action. As you can see, this sucker has a detent of all detents. It's If you like a strong detent, I mean, it could be my example. Um, but, man, this thing fires out with authority. Can you see that? I mean, boom. But it's almost, yeah, one thing that's... Not really an issue, but some people might be turned off by the strong detent on this knife. A lot of it is, yes, it does have a strong detent, but it's because of the lock bar. A lot of times you're, because the handle is so slim, being this being a flipper, um, you're putting pressure on the lock bar when you flip it. So you're fighting the pressure plus the detent. Now, if you if you kind of think about that and put your fingers off, it flips a lot easier. But it's still got a strong detent. Um, it doesn't fall shut. I mean, this is after being disassembled. It fires out so hard, though, um, and it, it's not you know drop shutting. It's pretty smooth, and that's got cape, that's got knife pivot lube on it and everything. Pretty good action. Um, the 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 flipping is awesome because it's, it's got such a good detent. But I could actually have gone with a little bit lighter detent. Um, there is no jimping on the flipper tab. I think that would help. I've had my fingers slip off this because the detent's strong and because there's no jimping there. It doesn't always um, get a good purchase on the flipper. So I think if they either lighten up the detent or um, add a jimping right there, you'd be better off. But overall, you know, if you like a good, solid detent, this knife's definitely for you. All right, let's talk about sliceability. This sucker will shock you. It's a nice hollow grind on it, but I couldn't believe how thin behind the edge it was. 0 0.0220, no, 0.0215 is my final right there kind of in the middle um, not getting anything more here either that's how about towards the back typically it's a little thicker back here 0.0235 so still very good and then the, the tanto tip is going to be thicker at 0.0 oops I think it was 0 0.03 oh heck that keeps slipping off the tip that's what she said um, 0 0.0355, so it's a little thicker at the tip, which you want it to be on a Tanto knife. So, but it's, it's thin and it cuts well. Um, you know, it is a Tanto edge, not going to be everyone's favorite. It doesn't have a lot of belly or anything, but it does slice well because of that thin grind and that thin blade stock and that hollow grind. So, very nice on the sliceability scale. Well, I like it quite a bit. How does it carry? Carries very nice. This clip is really nice. I wish. I hope Kaiser uses it on more knives. It may be specific to this particular model, but I'm hoping that they do it on other knives because it, it's pretty much deep carry, right? Not all the way, but really close. It's aesthetically pleasing, nice looking clip, and it just it's got a nice spring to it, and it's not too tight, and it's literally one of the best pocket clips I've found on a folding knife. I mean, it's pretty it's saying a lot. There's a lot of good clips out there, right? But if Kaiser were to do this, you, you saw my finger right there, right? I was putting pressure on the lock bar and then it slipped off that flipper tab. So I think that's one thing I would tell them to change is add some jimping on that or lighten up this detent a little bit because you're gonna you're going to naturally put pressure on the lock bar because of um just the, the, the slimness of the knife. That's just gonna happen. So Alright, value wise, what do these guys run? 169, I wanna say. 189, 169. Yep. 169 for this guy. That's a crazy good deal. Crazy good deal. Um, I believe I've seen them in stock at a couple stores. Let me check White Mountain Knife since I have a discount code there. I think I'm pretty sure he had them or maybe he sold out of them. But... Was our model number on this guy again? Doesn't say. Oh yeah, it does. 
KI four four five eight T. I swear I saw him on there. Yeah, he does. Okay. Okay, they are out of stock, but you can buy one when they get them in stock. Same price, 169 but then you can use my discount code, which I'll link in the description below, for 10% off. So, awesome. Very good value there, too. All right. X-Factor. It's it's The X-Factor is how light this knife is for its size and how slim it is and how well it carries. And that I think that Tanto blade is actually really good looking. It's a good looking Tanto. You don't... I don't carry a lot of tantals. I have a lot of tantals, but that is a good-looking tantal. Really nice. And it really works really well, too. I used it yesterday to cut uh, basically a hole out of a cardboard box for this project, and I used the tip only. Probably that. That's just sharp, by the way. Uh, that portion of the blade, and it worked really well. So it cuts really nice. So I think aesthetically, it's really it's a really pleasing knife. I like the size. I like how lightweight it is. Like, that's the biggest thing. It's how well they lighten this thing and for its size. I think that's the X factor on this guy. Okay, so I wanted, I mean, we did compare it to the Begletter G10, as you can see here. It's obviously going to be light. It's lighter by, which typically with G10 and 3.7, so 0.8 ounces. Point out, point ounce is lighter. That's a lot lighter. So the titanium version is lighter. Obviously, got better materials. Um, this one runs on washers, and it's a nice, nice action on washers with the thumb studs. This one's a flipper. I actually would have really liked and preferred this to be not a flipper. Um, I would have liked it to be a thumb stud knife as well as this one. Just have it be titanium. That would be awesome. Maybe they'll do that. I do believe like I would rather have a drop point too, and I believe they're going to be dropping a drop point <laughs> um, pretty soon. So. One other thing that I like better on the G10 version is the pivot. For some reason, they did this double-sided pivot thing, which I hate, because um, one of them spins, and you have to have two T8 drivers and all that stuff. This one does not have that. It has a single-sided, um, but it has the same-looking pivot, so I would rather prefer they did this pivot on this knife as well. Other than that, though, uh, there's obvious upgrades that give the edge big time to the more premium version. So if you like the G10 version, you will really like this. And you may wait till the drop point comes out if you're not a Tanto fan. But I like this Tanto. I think it looks good. Really like the aesthetics of this knife. Just a really, a really good job by Kaiser. Okay, so the knife I think it compares most to, or I guess we'll say the two. Well, I'm not gonna compare the smoke because it's a front flipper, um, but it's you know not not too far off. But these two are so similar. I mean, you're looking at both titanium frame locks, both flippers, both made in China, both S35VN, about the same size, both very lightweight um, for their size. And I want to say the cost is like right there. Actually, the <laughs> $3 cheaper for the real steel, guys. And if you use the discount code on White Mountain Knives, you get even cheaper. So... They're so similar. I mean, this one's actually a little thinner, but the Kaiser is a titch lighter. I mean, 0.1 ounces, not a lot, but it is a titch lighter because it's just lightened a little bit more. Uh, both, both knives have, you know, they're slim carry for their size. They both have full-size blades. Um, the cutting edge is nearly identical. I mean, there's so many similarities. This has a deep carry stainless steel clip. I do like this titanium clip, and I think aesthetically the handle on the Kaiser is nicer. But where the real steel really shines is the action. It's so crazy. I mean, look at how smooth that is. It just like, it almost falls on, it does fall on my finger and has cut my thumb because it's so flippin' smooth. I mean, look at that. Where the Kaiser, you can't get that. You gotta shake it, you know, a little bit. The detent on this guy is, and it, there is no jimping, but the detent's nice enough. It's a lot lighter detent, but it flips so nice that you don't really, the action's so smooth, you don't notice that detent. This has, a lot stronger detent so both very very similar price everything um which one i would i don't know what i pick one or another they're really nice they're both different blade shapes that is that is one thing to consider and i think the real steel is also very thin behind the edge let's find out it's 0 0.025 so it's a little thicker behind the edge than the kaiser um which is kind of surprising actually but um, both have stainless steel lock bar inserts. Um, I mean, both really good buys for the money. You can't go wrong with either one. But they're very, very comparable, and 
you know, I could see people having a, a hard time picking between the two. So, just wanted to get those. I think that's a, probably the best comparison for the Kaiser minus the uh, G10 back letter. So, that's going to wrap up the video, guys. Any questions or comments on this guy, let me know, and see you next time.